like letting R.J. watch TV so late. Hey, he ate his carrots, didn't he? So we're supposed to reward him for doing what we told him to do? We all need our little bribes in life, Logan. Not everything is a transaction, Ridge, regardless of what your daughter may think. What is your beef with Steffi? We have the company back. Doesn't it register with you how underhanded she's been? Going behind Katie's back to make this deal with Bill? Giving the company back is what Katie wanted herself. Why do you keep making her out to be some innocent victim of my daughter? completely lost track of time. I am oh, so is, sorry. Is everything okay? No, I, listen, it's fine. I'll, I'll call you. I'll, I'll give you a call tomorrow, no, no, okay? No, 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 no. Don't run off. I was just gonna Are you sure? Yeah, I was going to go to bed early, but okay. you know, that's because I didn't have any reason to stay up. But now okay. you're here, so come on in. What's, what's the matter? Some, something happened tonight? Well, I'm in the fashion business in a big way. If I want to be. Do I? Well done. Just a little paint and no one will know it was there. Oh, I'm not actually just talking about the sign. I'm talking about taking Bill Spencer down. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't do it, but you did. I'll just say it's a beginner's luck. Does it look very different to you? No. This is Eric Forrester. I want to talk about cashing out my bond funds and pulling back on our Southeast Asian markets. Call me back in the morning at my old number. You heard that right, my old number. You're unhappy. I'm just concerned. Well, things are going to be different. Maybe you got too attached to the position and the authority and the, the magazine layouts and, and uh, Eric, photo shoots. No, and, no, none of those things ever mattered to me. Well, it was okay if they mattered a little bit. But marrying me was never going to be about photo shoots and, and TV shows. I am concerned about fairness. Not to me, but to Brooke. Her husband will have 25% ownership of the company. But she won't. Well, she didn't before all this happened. She'll be pulling down the same salary she did before. Ah, uh, yes, well, if Stephanie and Taylor don't drive her out. You know, Donna, you and, uh, you and Brooke were full of good advice for me about how I could thrive under Bill and Katie. Maybe you should take some of that advice yourself. Look, I'm not a man of action or words. I'm a man of feelings and of senses and emotions. And what I'm feeling here tonight is, is just... I need you to understand what I'm going through. Eric, I never said I wasn't happy for you. But you have feelings of your own about this, don't you? Yes, that's right. I understand. I just... I just need you to understand what I'm going through right now here tonight. How wonderful this is for me. Okay. 
Okay, I will. I'll see you at home. Thank you. It's not as black and white as you think. Then enlighten me. It's obvious you and both your sisters feel kind of persecuted by my daughter. Think about her history, Rich. Her history? What does that mean? When she wanted to keep us apart, was she straightforward about it? No. She intercepted messages. She led me on a wild goose chase. She wanted her parents back together like any kid would. And she still does. 25% of Forrester are going to Taylor. What do you think she's hoping for? Okay, how does all this translate as some evil plot against Katie? I was trying to protect you from something. Oh, that word protect. My mother used to use that when she was always meddling in my life. Logan, if you're keeping some secret from me about my daughter, we're going to have a big, big problem. up a mild-mannered professional and now you're a corporate executive if i put up my quarter of the purchase price can you do that uh i talked to my accountant about it and the house is my biggest asset so if i borrow against it to the hilt and sell the properties that ridge deeded to me after the divorce you know, but I'd be really strapped <laughs> financially in a big way. That makes me nervous. I don't have to do it, on the other hand, because Brooke offered to buy my shares. Oh, I bet she did. The question is, are you going to let her? Removing all traces of the occupation. You know, I was thinking that maybe Ridge should have this office now. Where would you go then? Just maybe I'd take a page out of your book. Just give up the office and wander the halls, sticking my nose in everybody else's business. Oh, touche. <laughs> Jackie always tells me I'm never in my office. What are you going to tell her? That depends. Is it really true? People in the halls are not hallucinating? <laughs> no, they're not. He unloaded the company. Forrester <laughs> is ours again. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah hallelujah is right. Congratulations. Thank you. So what did you bring? All your father's things up in the basement? Hell no. Work can wait. One of Katie's first executive orders was to... Empty out your wet bar. Like I'm going to throw this stuff away, huh? A little gin. Oh. A little dry vermouth. Yeah, the boy is actually a genius. I think this calls for one of your famous martinis. Will you do the honors? Um, <laughs> sure. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Mm hmm Yes, ma'am. Well, of course, Brooke made the point that she spent her life in the trenches, most of her adult life over at Forrester, and that since she's married to Ridge, she should be entitled to be co-owner. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Taylor, no, nobody's entitled to anything in this life. Look, we get what, whatever fate or hard work or dumb luck puts in our path. And if we don't grab it, then it gets snatched away. You think I should do it then? No, I'm not in the business of telling you what to do. Yes, I knew there was something I liked about look, you. Look, look, look. Do you want a career change at this point in your life? I just, I want to find a way to secure a future for Thomas and Steffi over at Forrester. Aren't they pretty secure already? No. Look at what's already happened with Brooke and her sisters in charge over there. I mean, of course, Brooke would probably say she never intended for any of that to happen. Mm. But then again, we all know Brooke. 
things she never intended to do are the brick and mortar of her life. I I'm just tired and confused, and I'm, I'm saying this all wrong. I'm minding Steffi's business when really what's most important are the two monumental things that happened today. First of all, you and Eric, you got the company back. And I have to tell you, Rich, I couldn't be more delighted. Sure isn't sounding that way. No, I know. I know. And I'm sorry. I've just been selfish. And the second thing is, as wonderful and hopeful and bright as our future was looking, all of a sudden, Stephanie has some kind of bona fide authority over me. Brooke, we are married now. Mother is done interfering. I mean, look where it's gotten her, huh? <laughs> I'm sure that Taylor's going give, to give me some marching orders, too. She'll be looking down her nose at me and then making goo-goo eyes at you. Taylor has someone else in her life. She's not at all interested in me anymore. <laughs> oh, please. I'm sure you don't really believe that, do you? But, you know, there is, there is a silver lining to all of this. I don't think you should really depend on Taylor assigning her interest in the company to you. Really? I think she just might. I mean, first of all, where's she going to come up with all that money? True. And second of all, what does she hate more than anything in this world? No, not me. She hates to make a fool out of herself. And if she's going to run this fashion company, that's exactly what she would be doing. Let me say one thing. Whatever happens as far no, wait, as... Wait, 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 wait. Whatever happens? Are you saying you're going to have... Are you going to have trouble raising your share of the purchase price? You took care of that when we divorced. No, you took care of that when we divorced. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what I was about to say before I was so rudely interrupted is that um, if you don't want me here, I don't have to be here. What? Well, I mean, didn't all of your um, revenge fantasies just come true here? Except for the flesh-eating bacteria <laughs> one. No, really. You're going to be willing to raise all this money and be an absentee owner and stay home? No, I have a job. I love it. No, oh, you're not going to have a job when Jackie finds out about all this. She's not going to want to keep you on when you're co-owner of the competition. Well, I'll just... I'll find something to do. Have you had some kind of a religious conversion? No. <laughs> it's just, you know, you come to terms with things, that's all. Look, honestly, for a long time, the only thing I thought was that I really couldn't be anything but your wife. I was wrong. And I proved that to myself quite successfully. The other thing I thought was that you could not live without me. So I had your marriage doomed and your career doomed. Well, I haven't me. exactly fallen off the face of the earth. Eric, I want you to be happy, okay? I want your life to be filled with love and your work filled with joy. So what I'm simply trying to tell you is, if you don't want me here in this picture, it's okay. I made a big mistake forcing you out. I miss you. I can't replace you. I want you here. Start the evening over. No, I'm sorry. The moment's gone forever. I'm going to tell you what I should have said before. I am so happy for you. I don't think I believe you. <laughs> no, I am. Really, I am happy for you. You have your dream. truth is, I want you to have what you want more than I want to have what I want. And now you do. 
So you don't think you'd compromise your, your practice, like, fatally? I could scale back. Yeah. Definitely in this economy, there's not that many people who can afford me. <laughs> well, you would be working closely with Ridge. How's that sit with you? Or is that part of the draw, be honest? How does that sit with you? Oh, you didn't come here to check on my feelings. Mostly just to come here and hear myself think. I think. Good. Good. Because my feelings are irrelevant. Look, Taylor, I know that Ridge is always going to be part of your life. I get that. It doesn't really bother me to have you work in the same building with him. Well, I might not mind working with him, mm -hmm. but I don't want to be with him. Mm -hmm. I've been on that roller coaster one too many times, mm -hmm. and it leads nowhere. There's no future. Okay. You. Mm hmm? Me? feels different. How? Like a dog with his head hanging out of a car window on a highway. That happy? Yeah, huh? yeah, oh. it's like that. Like oh. that happy, that huh? excited and free and like, mm, you know where you're going. Mm. It's just the martini talking. Look at you. You're, you're even more impossible when I'm nice to you than when I'm not. You really missed me. <laughs> of course I do. If you weren't around, I have to do everything. I have to do everything for myself. Oh, you and Donna not having sex? No, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> then don't make such sweeping statements. What's a girl supposed to well, think? Well, why not? It's what I do. It's what I'm best at. Why can't you just let me be me? If you don't understand me, then, then who will? <laughs> what good is me understanding you ever done me? <laughs> I love you. Eric. No, I, know, I know I'm not supposed to say it, but look at this. It's the most obvious thing in the world. I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my business. I need you to remind me of my history. Who, how am I supposed to know who I am if you're not yelling it in my ear day and night? Mm -hmm. That's just the alcohol on an empty stomach. <laughs> That's all it is. This is what I mean. It's exactly what I mean. How could I not love you? Look, say you'll come back. Come on. I told you'd come crawling back. I'm not crawling. I told you you'd come begging. I'm not begging. I told you that you would make promises that you would never keep, but I also told you. I'm not coming back. Say you'll come back. To what? The old bait and switch that you always pull on me? Please, Eric. There's always something that you want me to do, but you never tell me what it is. I'm supposed to figure it all out. And then when I do figure it out, you pull this, uh, uh, I've stepped over the bounds. Been there, done that. I don't want it. I really don't have any right to ask anything of you, do I? No, you don't. All right, I'll come back. Just don't talk any more foolishness and keep that wife of yours at arm's length. Shh.